All right, shalom, shalom. Oh, it's here. 87 degrees right now. It's probably going to go up to 90. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. I had to go and take my daughter to her, I think, a second dental appointment. Folks, it's just so critical to ensure that you are minding your health. Uh, a lot of people, they let that dental work slip. Before you know it, they got a mouthful of cavities. And then before you know it after that, they got a mouthful of extractions. You know, I spend whatever money necessary and whatever resources necessary to ensure that, you know, they're taken care of in that regard. Because it's my responsibility as a man to do so. And it's your responsibility, wives, to take care of your husband. I mean, that's just how that works. Uh, and he takes care of the family. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about purchasing land, moving, and understanding what you're getting into. Now, the scriptures talk about, you know, before a man builds, go out to build, does he not consider the cost? And it seems as though a lot of people, they get excited about the notion of moving and buying land. But they have not really considered the cost. Uh, the cost in terms of the human resources, the financial resources, and the skill set and knowledge that you have to acquire in order to go about doing it. Most of us, we've lived our lives uh, not even as people that own a mortgage, but as renters. And in that mind, uh, you know, typically we don't have to fix anything. We call it the landlord. And I've been a landlord. Let me tell you, I don't want to be a landlord again. It's a lot of work. Um, it's a lot of bullshit. The profit margins are, uh, are shitty. But it is a great thing. And a great goal to want to move out into the country and buy your own land. However, again, we must consider the cost. Now, I've been out here about about six, six, seven years now. I think it's been six, six, six or seven years. And let me tell you, man, I've had to learn a lot. But before I moved, I sat down and I considered the cost. I considered the land. I uh, consulted with people that own land. And you see a lot uh, today, a lot of people are not doing this. They're not sitting down and they're not considering the cost. And as a direct result, they're suffering. Uh, I've been to homesteads and I've been to communities. Uh, some uh, all ran very well, very well kept. But then you have others, you go, uh, there's no sanitation system. Uh, you know, you walk in the cabins, they stink, they're undone. Uh, flies all lit up. Uh, and you got people living like this. And let me tell you, man, you know, it, you're not going to build a community or a homestead without resources and skill sets. And you see the people with resources, skill sets, building communities and homesteads. And then you see people with no resources and no skill sets. And I'm gonna tell you, uh, a, a job at Walmart, a Dollar Tree, is not gonna build a community or a homestead. It's just not gonna do it. Uh, you know how much a, a a well costs to get drilled, especially in this inflation and, this, and these high costs? See, everything is doubled now. And you have people that want to move, that can't move now because the cost is too high. We've been seeing this and saying this for many years, that inflation is going to erode the value of the dollar, and therefore it's going to take more dollars to get things done. I just now priced the roof. Now, if I did that roof three years ago, it would have probably cost $3,000. 
But now I had to charge with Lego material $9,000 to do this roof for a company or a family business that uh, I process my lands with. So I take my lands out there and they process it and they, you know, they, they see that I'm a, a carpenter and they was like, hey, you know, can you give me a quote? When can you get this done? We need to get this done. We need to get this done. And it's hot out here. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, when I can get 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 my little crew together so we can get it done. But the idea is this. You must consider the cost when moving. So, like I said, you're not going to build the community or, or, or homestead on a Walmart job. Or, you know, uh, at, at, you know at a flipping burgers. It's, it's just not going to happen. Again, a well alone, which is critical. You need water on the land. Number one resource, you need water. You need to be self-sufficient in that water. Uh, whether it's a stream, a creek, a pond, or a well, or a combination of the three. <clears throat> Rainwater catchment, you need to be able to have access to clean drinking well water, or pond water, or river water, or stream water. Uh, it is critical. And to drill a, a, a well today is going to cost you upwards of $10,000. But before, it would have cost you about $5,000. So it's a good thing to want to be on a homestead or a community. And this is why it's so important to get with others, to pull your resources together and have real skills. See, I'm only able to do the things and to complete the projects that I'm able to complete because, you know, you have access to large, you know, a fuse of, uh, 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 infusion of large access of, uh, you know, access of capital. I mean, again, you know, if you're debt free and, you know, your expenses are damn near zero, but, you know, you're making five, six thousand dollars a month or more, uh, and disposable income, you can get a lot of shit done very quickly. But if you don't have that and you have basic expenses that's going to eat you up, you're not going to get anything done. I mean, I've seen this person. I've had my eyes on uh, whether communities or homesteads that are failing and communities or homesteads that are succeeding. And the fundamental difference between those homesteads and communities is the fact that you have the leadership that have real skills, have access to real working capital, and have a clear plan and a good piece of property, a good piece of uh, farmland. I only say farm, I'm not including any other. If you don't have irritable farmland, you ain't got nothing. It's going to be 10 times harder to develop a piece of property if it's not farmland. But the idea is that, you know, you see that, and then you see other, whether it's homesteads and communities where there's no skill sets, there's no resources, um, and you got people that, you know, are moving out, and they're, they're literally destitute, and that's just how it's going to be indefinitely for them. And it's a sad thing where you don't have access to a basic, you've moved, and you don't have access to a basic a, a shower to clean your ass, a clean water to clean your ass. Uh, good sanitation or basic sanitation um, where well, you don't have access to uh, 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 heat, <clears throat> things like that. You know, I was looking at wood stoves. You could buy a wood stove before for $150, $200. Now, a used wood stove is going to cost you five, a good one, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars $800. Not even including all of the pipes and the installation. And the tools it costs to install that. You see, a lot of people have set themselves up for failure uh, uh, when it comes to uh, homesteads. Now, again, how people live is how people live. None of my business, none of my concern. But I'm telling you, it's sad to see people living nasty. Um, you got people that's talking about buying land and building communities and stuff and they and no skills, no money. I mean, people are just delusional in this day and age. Do you not see the price of gas? Who's building? You know, you, you 
uh, alone, the price of gas alone have gone up 100% increase in gas in the past year. Who's getting shit done in those prices? See, that's why I say I know, you know, it's a blessed situation to be in a situation where uh, I can transfer my cost, my gas cost to the customer. I transfer all that shit to the customer. I don't consider gas in my car a personal expense. I really don't because I factor it in to the charges that I'm charging for the customer. So, i.e., if I'm spending three, four hundred dollars a month on gas, right? I make sure that in my invoices, um, like for instance, perfect example, uh, to do this 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 roof, I'm charging them like a three hundred and fifty dollar gas surcharge because not only do I got to get there, I got to bring the material there. I got my sixteen foot trailer, and I transport the material there, but I charge them for that. You see. But a lot of people are not able to do that. Could you imagine working at Dollar General? Uh, you're not you, you're not getting any raises at Dollar General. They're not going to give you any raises. It's a low wage, minimum slave wage job. But all your expenses are going up, and you're on a homestead. I know brothers, you know, that has lost their homesteads because they financed the land, and 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 they lost it. I mean, it's a sad thing to see somebody get on a piece of land, do a whole bunch of work, invest a whole bunch of time, energy, effort, and labor just to turn around and lose it because they financed it and they couldn't make the payments. This is why I say buy land debt-free. Buy it debt-free. Buy irritable farmland debt-free so that you don't have to worry about that with a good source of well on it, um, a septic tank on it an old used double wide or something, an old structure on it because it's going to have that, that infrastructure underneath. There's a lot of pieces of property that you can buy, with a, a, but a well has already been dug or there's a septic that's already been dug. The house may be trash, but you can tear down that house and build a new one, but at least you have that, that work underneath that you can uh, buy those, uh, you know, you can build from there because to put in a well in the septic alone, you know, I mean... That shit costs money. I mean, you can get, you can, you can rig your credit score all you want. You know what I'm saying? Get a whole bunch of financing and stuff or whatever. But at the end of the day, that shit got to get paid back. You see? So, uh, you know, it's so important to understand what you're doing when it comes to uh, buying land and making sure that you're not setting yourself up for failure. Making sure that you know what you're doing and developing those real skills to develop it. I charge $500 a day, period. That's my profit margins. I want to make $500 a day. If I'm leaving, I'm trying to at least make $500 a day. You see what I'm saying? Because my time is more valuable. But there's things that I have to do on the homestead as well. So I can't work full time, even in my own job. You know, a lot of people, you know, and this is another video I want to do. A lot of people, their business owns them. They don't own their business. They don't own their business. Their business owns them. I try and make sure I'm in a situation where I own my business and my business doesn't own me. But you got to be fiscally responsible, which is another video I want to do. Listen, it's a great thing to want to buy some land, but make sure that you can write the check. Make sure that you can do it from start to completion. Make sure that you have a solid business plan in place because you ain't going to go out, buy some land and then work a Walmart job and thinking that you're going to get shit done. Walmart jobs are just enough just to pay the bills, just enough to take care of the minimum amount of expense. That's what the Walmart job is there for. Nothing more, nothing less. I've yet to meet a person or a community or, or, or a group of people that built anything real on a Walmart job. Ain't going to happen. Sorry. So the idea is definitely this. Make sure that you know what you're doing. Make sure that you, you, you do the research before you go ahead and just buy a piece of land. It's a sad deal. 
today, but uh, a group of people with real skills in businesses, you can do something serious with that. It don't take a lot of people. It doesn't take a lot of people at all. Um, you're going to have to learn to do more with less. And a lot of people just don't have the skill set. I mean, you know, I can size up people pretty good and it comes to this regard. And I can tell who got it and who ain't got it. Um, but, you know, people got to go out there and do what they want to do. I mean, hey, you know, you know, let's see how it works out. But uh, the living example is so critical um, to a good quality life if you're going to do these things. Follow people that are successful at it. Mimic what they're doing. Um, and you'll have that success, but you stay blessed. Shalom.